Okay, so here is my last um, little video about the power of attention. So um, Rumi, the Sufi poet, he famously said, uh, these pains you feel are messengers. Listen to them. Right. So as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, I think last year, sometime last summer, as humans, we are massive pattern recognition machines. So we're always kind of filtering stuff, filtering, filtering, filtering all the time. And, you know, we, we are constantly bombarded with information. We go outside, the birds are singing, there are road signs. We've got some, you know, someone down the road is playing music. We hear a loud noise. We hear a car coming, we run out of the way. All this kind of stuff, there's information coming at us all the time. And our brain is filtering through it. And sometimes things that we see in the world resonate with something about us, some, some mood we're in or some emotion we're feeling. And we notice it and we start to think that like there are signs, there are signs for us that, that you know, the universe is sending us messages. And in a way it is. So when we notice stuff, it's actually more a sign that's coming from our subconscious or the kind of, you know, our state that we're in. And when I did my podcast with uh, Martha Beck, the American, I don't know, you could call her a life coach, but I think she's much more than that. But uh, when I did my uh, podcast with Martha Beck, she um, said, notice what you notice, be aware what you're aware of. All right? And so this is the, the thing about attention. When we turn it on ourselves and we start to listen to what's going on with us, when we start to notice what we notice, we can start to see uh, kind of road signs for where we need to go next. You know, it's the same if you're a, an athlete and you, you listen to your body, you listen to where you feel strong and where you feel loose or where you feel kind of aches and pains and that sort of thing. And you adapt your training accordingly so that you can either, uh, you know, give um, a part of your body the rest it needs or work it as it needs to. And we can be very sensitive to the way our body feels. And we can also be sensitive to how we feel and also to what we're picking up on. Uh, a good example of this is when I'm feeling low or down or I'm starting to kind of uh, ruminate on the, the negativity in my life, I tend to do things like read my horoscopes more or buy lottery tickets and that kind of thing. And that is a sign that I am kind of in a state where I'm seeking uh, rewards outside of myself. And so I can I can say, hang on a minute, what's going on here? I'm, I'm looking for things outside of myself. I'm feeling disempowered. So I'm looking for external kind of help, if you like. And actually, I need to be nurturing, giving myself what I need to nurture my own inner strength. So maybe I might be tired, so I need to focus on rest. Or I might have been kind of neglecting hydration. Or I might have just been watching too much news, spending too much time on kind of the negativity of social media, of Twitter, that kind of thing. So, you know, Use your attention to focus inwards on yourself. Notice what you notice in the outside world. It's like I seem to be picking up on, you know, one one a great example. When I had my when my daughter was born, I suddenly started noticing that I was picking up on all the horrible news stories about terrible things that people did to children in the news because I was so kind of hypersensitive to that as a as a new parent. And, you know, this is a great reflection. You know, that, that news is always there. There's always these awful stories, but I just wasn't paying so much attention until I had a child. And it's the same, you know, it's like, I'm sure if you are an alcoholic and you, you fight that and you go through your 12 steps, probably, you know, when you first give up alcohol, you're, so, you're seeing it everywhere. You notice it more in the shops, you see the billboards, you see the adverts on TV, you know, and it's the same with all of, all of us. When we're the state we're in, what we're attuned to, reflects what we see in the outside world. And also, you know, we can listen to ourselves and use that to steer us, to steer us on a path that is rewarding and aligned with who we are in this kind of moment, you know, where we're going. You know, like if you're if you're starting to fall back on bad memories and you, those are kind of becoming more prominent, you can kind of say, OK, what's going on here? Why am I thinking these thoughts? What's what's happening to me? Um, and yeah, it's about focusing your attention on yourself, what you're aware of, what you're noticing, how you're feeling, and use that to investigate rather than just being in that state. Here's a great example. I use RAIN, uh, which is a kind of psychological technique. Uh, it's uh, when you feel a negative thought or you're in a negative space, you recognise it, you allow it, 
you investigate it and then you nurture it. So I was feeling negative and I explored this and I, I unveiled some truths about myself in relation to my relationship with money and its connection with my my sense of self-esteem and I was able to work through that because I was investigating myself rather than just being in that space. I was feeling miserable and rather than just being miserable, which is an I am thing, so it's, you know, I'm connecting my identity with my emotional state, I am miserable, you know, we don't want to do that. So instead we say, I am feeling miserable. And then I was able to work through that and investigate where that, that took me. And we can do this all the time, investigate the things that irritate us, investigate the things that we're noticing. And what are those saying about us right now? What are those saying about our state? And notice when things are getting under our skin a lot more. Just be aware of ourselves, focus our attention on ourselves. Why are we angry? Why, are, why is the news angering us? Maybe we're watching too much news. Maybe it's revealing biases about ourselves. Maybe we're leaning a little bit too far to the left or too far to the right. You know, just investigate yourself. You are not perfect. You're far from perfect. And your ideas, your morality, your, your state of being, your beliefs might not be perfect either. So investigate and explore and use that attention to look inwards because a lot of the answers, 90% of the answers you need in life are probably in here and in here already, but you need to unearth them using the power of attention. All right, cheers for that. There's a thought for the day. And that is the last of my three little videos about the power of attention. Cheers.